Vincent DePaul of Nina Menasha is well known and respected for helping those who've fallen on some tough economic times. But as Stacey Ingebretson shows us in tonight's NBC 26 Cares, the organization is now on the receiving end of some charitable giving. St. Vincent de Paul helped nearly 5,000 people in need last year, providing free clothing, transportation, even paying rent and utility bills. It's that incredible life-changing service that caught the attention of a local company who wanted to give back to those hard-working volunteers. When St. Vincent de Paul director Dan Johnson got the call saying his organization won a contest, he couldn't believe his ears. And we were very excited here, very, very grateful to them. To celebrate Paul Davis's 50 year anniversary, the restoration company chose St. Vincent de Paul and Nina to receive 50 hours of free repair work. It's a good fit for, for us, uh, serving a business that serves others. Uh, and it's the work that they need, it fits right into what we do at Paul Davis. We help people out with uh, the fires and the floods and their times of need. Mary Schliwe is one of the many Paul Davis volunteers putting a fresh coat of paint on the walls inside St. Vincent de Paul's thrift store and donation center. But it's one of the most gratifying uh, feelings when you can help somebody else out. The team has the equipment the store doesn't to be able to clean the dust out of every nook and cranny. The volunteers also adding electrical outlets and repairing windows and doors. It helps us in multiple ways. Number one, it makes a safer, cleaner environment for our volunteers, our staff, our customers, and it's going to save us money. It's something we don't have to do, which we can then turn around and put back into the local Nina Menashe area to help people. Last year, the organization gave out $144,000 worth of aid to struggling families. Paul Davis is happy to reward them for their commitment to the community. Just stepping back and taking a look at you know what we've done for somebody else um, is going to be very rewarding and very exciting to, to see their faces um, light up. A well-deserved gift to a nonprofit that gives so much to so many living in poverty. A local dentist wrote the winning letter nominating St. Vincent de Paul. Paul Davis says their charitable giving doesn't stop here. They also donate furniture and other items their clients don't want to St. Vincent de Paul and other organizations. Keeping you connected, Stacey Engebretson, NBC 26. What a great piece of the community. Nice to be recognized for, for your sure, efforts. For sure.